Today, we're going to go over ZK Sync. We're going to do a comprehensive guide on farming ZK. So whilst farming ZK Sync itself, we're also going to be farming three to five other projects for airdrops as well. There are not many L2s left that are going to be big airdrops. ZK Sync is one of them, and it's probably the next one, followed by Scroll, Linear, Base, and Zora. No, we're not too late. ZK Sync have previously stated that they will be looking to launch their token in June. There's been no announcements of any snapshots yet, so we're going to keep pushing transactions until we get a confirmed snapshot date. And like we've seen with other projects like StarkNet, you could have started farming that in December and got in on that airdrop. They took the snapshot right before they launched the token. Firstly, you need to get funds onto ZK Sync. So you can use a third party bridge like Jumper which we're also, also farming for an airdrop. Also, we definitely want to use the sync bridge itself. And bridging right now is a good time as gas fees on ETH are quite low. It's around $11 at the moment. And only a couple of weeks ago, it was $30, $40 to bridge. So if you're going to bridge using the ZK sync bridge, you really want to be doing it now while the fees are nice and low. With all of these L2s, the ZK sync, scroll, linear, Zora, we want to be using the main flagship bridge at least once. Okay, first we're going to swap some of the ETH that we've bridged onto ZK Sync to a stable coin, USDC or USDT. We're going to use Sync Swap. They also potentially have an airdrop coming. And what you need to do is obviously make sure you're on ZK Sync up here and you want to use a stable coin as gas fee. So up here, make sure you switch it from ETH to USDC or USDT, swapped some of your ETH into a stable coin. We're then gonna go to a lending platform, which also has an airdrop come in and lend that stable coin as collateral. And you can also borrow against it if you like. So the project where we're gonna supply some liquidity and we can also borrow against what we supply is zero lend. Zero lend have their own airdrop come in. We can get points for using their platform. There's also a few other ways you can get points. I've covered this before um, a little while ago now, a few months back. And the way that you can get points with zero lend itself is if you come here um, and then you join the Discord, you can say good morning in their Discord to get a few points daily. Also, if you're staking Pyth, you can get one point per Pyth stake. If you are staking Pyth, make sure that you go to your Pyth profile and you bind the Ethereum address that you're going to be using here. I have got a tutorial for that, so I will leave that in the description. If you're staking any Manta, you can um, get five points per Manta staked. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lend a stable coin. So you can see here supply collateral to the lending markets you get one point per usd per day and if you borrow from the market you get four points per usd per day so if you click on um supply collateral is i have supplied um some usdt and then i've borrowed some usdt against it i only do this in stable coins so there is little risk of liquidation obviously the price doesn't fluctuate with a stable coin so you can borrow against it the full amount that you're eligible to borrow and you haven't got to worry about being liquidated the only way you could be liquidated is if the stable coin collapsed very unlikely but obviously that is a risk this is not financial advice it's just what i'm doing make sure you do your own research but um, yeah, I only ever do it in stable coins. Good thing about using lending and borrowing, especially when you're doing it with a stable coin, is you keep the liquidity. So you can, you know, borrow, you can lend $500, borrow $350 back, and then you can go and put that liquidity to work elsewhere. I'm going to come to an L2 NFT marketplace called Zonic, and you're going to make sure that you're on ZK Sync here. So they've got a load of chains with NFTs on. Make sure you're on ZK Sync. It's much better than using those platforms that are just for minting around 20, 30 NFTs in one go. This is a big platform from actual collections. Having an NFT may or may not make you eligible for the airdrop, but we don't want to risk that. So we want to make sure that we've purchased at least one NFT to show that we're involved with the NFT marketplace. So you would go to... um explore more nfts on l2 make sure you're on zk sync and then you can look through some of the collections here and a lot of them are very cheap like this one here coffee break 0 0.0001 that's under a dollar south park buy a couple of these you don't need to go crazy and buy 15 20 nfts 
just buy a couple and you never know in the future these may have some value themselves okay, and then we're going to buy a domain for our wallet again this sets you apart from the Sybil wallets so we're going to use a zk sync name service this is also powered by layer zero and it will cost around six dollars to buy a domain so go to so search up a domain purchase it once you've done that go to my profile and set it as your primary domain for your wallet on zk sync and it will cost another 20 or 30 cent for the gas fees to do that okay and then i have a bonus project for you so this is not going to be on-chain transactions but it's a zk sync project that has an airdrop coming called gravity and at the moment you can earn these zk sync mystery boxes and by doing this you'll be on the wait list to be able to use the gravity platform when it launches it's a perp decks and once it launches you can get points accumulate points from using the decks so you have to sign up with an email address and then complete these tasks here to get the tickets once you have tickets, you reveal them here, and then you can see all of your boxes that you've opened in my box history. You need a referral code to be able to get into this. So I will leave um, so I will leave some referral codes in the description or the comments. Come and sign up and do this. Make sure you come back to this video and leave your referral codes in the comments. You get points for people using referral codes. Okay. And then to keep track of our progress on ZK Sync, also a few other L2s we can use this for to track our progress is Ruby Score. So you're going to connect up your wallet and then you're going to go to um, Leaderboard ZK Sync. And you can check your rank out of all of the wallets using the chain and see where you're ranking and it does break it down nicely so if you go to dashboard and it will give you the percentage you're in so for this wallet i'm in the top 46 percent you can also purchase nfts at about a dollar it breaks down the chain very nicely showing you how much value is locked showing you how many wallets are on the chain and then if you come down more on the dashboard it then breaks down each of the important criterias that you expect a chain to take into consideration with the airdrop the stock not having that 0 0.001 uh, minimum in your wallet in the wallet on the snapshot day you want to make sure that you keep a little bit of eth in the wallets of all the chains that you are farming it might not be a criteria for zk sync or for scroll but you don't want to take any risks so leave a little bit of funds in it um, and yeah I need to top up my own transactions with unique contracts you've got the amount of days you've transacted on the amount of weeks the amount of months so a good way to really understand what you need to be doing to farm these main nets without a token has your transaction volume the gas spend and the number of transactions so a good tool for airdrop farming and you could go ahead and check other ones um, scroll scroll for this wallet i'm in the top four percent and again you could go through all of these and just see how you're measuring up and where you need to improve i nearly forgot they do have a guild so come to their guild and get these roles if you can so to get the verified level one you need 10 transactions on the zk sync chain you need to have a discount a discord account older than three months and a verified email address with guild and you will get this role for the level two, you need to have the level one role within ZK Sync and you need to have a Gitcoin passport score of 20. Um, I should have this and I don't know why I don't. I do have a score of a 20, so I need to double check that. And if you want a tutorial on how to get a Gitcoin passport score over 20, let me know in the comments and I will do a tutorial on that. I think that if you don't have the Gitcoin passport with a score of a 20, it might make you... Um, uneligible for the airdrop i don't know that for a fact but very strong way for them to fill out the box and it's a good thing to have anyway with your with your wallet if you do have a gitcoin passport over 20 wallet is definitely not going to be considered a civil wallet so it is something that you want to have on all of the wallets that you are farming with but that wraps this one up so that is a comprehensive guide on farming zk sync main thing is to make sure you use the bridge once make sure that you stay consistent with coming back to do transactions you definitely want to use a lending platform like zero lend or you could provide liquidity on zk um, on sync swap to one of the pools but you want to be providing liquidity within the ecosystem even if it's a small amount i would definitely get the domain name to set your wallet apart from most of the other wallets i'm going to try to do this with a few wallets so that we increase our airdrop to the maximum and we make sure that we get five figures 
from this airdrop. There's not many big layer twos left and they're all going to probably happen before the summer and then the summer months are going to be quiet for airdrops as they usually are. So we need to be going as hard as possible right now to make this life changing money. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha, turn those notifications on and I will see you in the next one.